So for my four values, I chose length A equals 20, B equals 30, theta equals 45, and alpha equals 80 degrees. So for my first triangle, I did my two angles and my one side, 45, 80 degrees, and 20. So to find my third angle, I just took the total amount of degrees in the triangle, which is 180, and subtracted my two known angles, and I got 55 degrees. And then I did law of sines to find my two unknown lengths right here. And for law of sines, you just have to take the sine of your angle, and you have to put it over your corresponding length. So 45 corresponding length is 120. This 80 corresponding length will be right here, and the 55 corresponding length will be right here. So sine 45 or 20, and then set this up as a proportion, and you solve it out for B and C, and that's what I got. So for the next one, I have two both side lengths and one angle. So what I did is I did law of cosines for this one. And law of cosines is simply c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab times cosine of c. So I made my 20 is going to be my a value, 30 is my b value, and my c angle is going to be this 45 degrees. And we're solving for this length right here. So I plugged them all in and I got my answer as 21.25. And then I did law of cosines once again to solve for angle A. So I basically used my three side lengths, 20 as A, 30 as B, and 21.25 as C. And I got 45.75. And then to solve for the last angle B, I just subtracted my two known angles, 41.75 and 45, by 180. And you get 93.25 as the answer for angle B. So next we're doing a triangle with two solutions. So I chose 20 as my length, 30 as my length, and 45 degrees. So first what I did is solve for this triangle. So I did law of sines, and I did the sine of 45 over its corresponding length of 30, which is equal to sine of B over its corresponding length of 20. And I got B is about 28 degrees. And to find my third angle, I subtracted it from 180, and I subtracted 45, and I got 107 degrees. And then I took my 107, did law of sines again. So I could find my corresponding length right here. And I got 40.57. So I found all my missing measurements right here. So to prove that it has two triangles, I took my 20 length side right here. And I swung the leg over here to make an isosceles triangle. So this length is going to be 20 and this length is going to be 20. And since this length is 45, this length is also going to be 45 since it's isosceles. Meaning that the remaining length is 90 degrees because there's 180 degrees in the triangle. So I did special right triangles and I saw for the hypotenuse right here, which is 20 radical 2. And then for this triangle, you know that this is going to be 28. And since this is 90, I subtracted my A angle and I got 17 because my A angle came out to be 107 and this is going to be 135 since it's a 180 minus 135 is 45 and basically I just use law of signs again and I did the sign of 28 over 20 sine of 17 over that X and I got 12.46 20 radical 2 plus 12.46 is approximately 40.92, which is about my length of 40.57. So that proves that it has two triangles. And right here for no solutions, I set up a triangle so that when you found the sine of the angle, it was greater than one because sine cannot be greater than one. So I have my length of 20, my length of 30, and 45. Sine of 45, and then I did a lot of sines. So sine of 45 over its corresponding length of 20 is equal to sine of x right here and over 30. And when you solve it out, you get x is about 1.06, which is still greater than 1. Therefore, that triangle has no solutions.